there, and welcome back to Weird Soda for Life. Aren't you glad I didn't try another food soda this week? Although oranges are food, and it's a soda. <laughs> anyway, welcome back to Weird Soda for Life. Uh, today we are trying uh, the Cock and Bull Bitter Orange. Um... I was intrigued by this. Thanks again to my cousin Lori for sending me four different sodas. Um, there was a, a cucumber soda, a really fun old school looking citrus soda, another one of those Avery's like gross sodas, and this. And uh, I picked this one because I had the ginger beer sitting and I was kind of just interested in finally digging into cock and bull. And what I found when I did the research for it was something utterly fascinating. So... When we talked about like my Verner's uh, video back in like the back in maybe August of 2022, we we talked about ginger beer and ginger ale and the history of it and how it's getting off the ground and everything else, right? Um, and if we didn't, pretend we did. <laughs> but so we talked about that. So let's start with uh, 1930s, 1940s Hollywood. Jack Morgan is the proprietor of the famous Cock and Bull restaurant, just in case you were wondering where the name came from, and that's no bull. Ah, ah, I'm going to get you. <laughs> anyway, um, so he's a proprietor of this restaurant. He's got this ginger beer, but like the ginger beer is kind of just not flying off the shelves, right? So he talks to his buddy, John Martin. John Martin owns uh, this company called Hubline, and... You know, they're talking and they're commiserating because Martin here has picked up a, a new product to sell. He's a liquor sell, salesman, you see, a li liquor distributor. And he's picked up um, Smirnoff Vodka. And he's having a hard time because uh, Americans didn't drink vodka. Americans drank whiskey or sometimes they drank gin. But whiskey, corn-based like liquors, um, primarily from the South right? If you don't know your cocktails, I don't think you're going to see where this is going, but if you do, you already know where I'm headed. Ginger beer, vodka, lime, in a copper cup, in a copper glass or a copper mug. That's right. This is the company that originated the actual Moscow mule. These two jabronis got together to sell their worst selling products and combined them and it worked. So actually when we think about cock and bull, we got a, uh, a true Moscow mule apparently has the cock and bull ginger beer in it. Uh, something that I found utterly fascinating and it really does make me want to <laughs> buy more um, <laughs> ginger beer and more Moscow mules because like it's purely American invention. Uh, so utterly fascinating to me. With that, let's take a look at the history of the cock and bull bitter orange. Uh, unlike the ginger soda that started in the 40s, this is a little later, according to the bottle, it was first marketed nationally along uh, the cock and bull ginger beer from the 1960s through the 70s. The signature bitter taste is produced by a unique extraction process where the outer orange rind, the layer pith beneath, so that gross white stuff, ugh, uh, the orange pulp and the juice are blended with just the right amount of quinine. That's right, folks. We are fighting malaria today, right now. <laughs> um, and our pinpoint carbonation enjoys a soft drink or is a wonderful sparkling mixer. Well, today we're enjoying it as a soft drink. So let's take a little bit of a look of the, at the label. As so you can see, the cock and bull. By the way, if you're looking, that restaurant no longer exists. The only place that that like, uh, icon exists is on the brands of soda, right? Uh, you can see here, oh, sorry, sparkling, real sugar, original recipe. And then down in the bottom of the black, you see quinine. With that, let's see what the world has brought us. Oh, I'm looking at the can. It says, bottled by Intrastate Distributors, Exeter Street, Detroit. <laughs> So my Florida cousin sent me a soda that was bottled in Detroit, America. <laughs> anyway. Oh, yeah, twist top. No magic messages on this one. Okay. It smells a little bit, uh, I mean, it smells like orange, right? But it smells kind of like uh, orangina, you know? Do you, have you all ever had that drink? Uh uh, it smells more f 
like a fresh orange than it does a sugary orange, if that makes any sense. With that, bottoms up. I really like that. I really like that a whole bunch. It's making my mouth water. Um, you definitely taste the rind. So you taste the rind. It's like I'm, <laughs> it's almost like I've bitten into an orange to eat it. Um, so you get like the bitterness of the, the skin, the rind, but you do get the real like juicy sweetness of the inside of an orange. That's excellent, and I'm very slobbery. I could see mixing that, too. I see why they say mixing, um, you know, mixing it with a gin or, and I didn't say gin, but, like, this would be good with a gin. It might be good with vodka to make yourself a really uh, fun screwdriver, but it's good on its own. Um, I like it a whole bunch, and to know that I'm now safe from malaria, too, what a bonus. <laughs> but, um... I'm pretty sure you can find this in a lot of like those specialty soda shops, like you know, um, like the rocket, the rocket fizzes of the world, right? Uh, or places that are stocking vintage sodas. But this is really, really good. And if you like fresh orangey things, I would get this. Um, it, you know what? It tastes like an orange drink with some bitters in it, which is what it makes sense. But next week, uh, starting with June, we are starting a probiotic soda month. Uh, I believe I have an Olipop that's ch uh, black cherry flavored on deck, but I will have to check. Um, but we're going to try that and see if my stomach can get any less screwed up than it already is. <laughs> Again, I do reserve the right to back out if things go south. <laughs> but, um... And again, one last reminder, if you want to get in on uh, Guest Soda July, um, message me on Facebook or on YouTube, depending on where you're seeing this video, and let me know. And if not, well, you'll see some of my old favorites uh, anyway. So um, it can, it, it, it'll be star-studded with or without you, because I'm there. I was trying to be a little less cocky about that. I really couldn't land on anything. Sorry, guys. But truly, if you're interested, hit me up. Um, and if not, I will figure something out. Um, until next time, drink weird. And I was going to try to do some play on words with because I used the bull before. But I really don't have a lot of cock jokes. <laughs> uh, see you next time.